<laughs> I'm gonna have to pick my way out. Look at all the dinosaurs! Edmontiel longiceps. Edmontiel is an armored dinosaur part of the Nodosaur family from the late Cretaceous period, about 76.5 to 60 million years ago. 69 million years ago, that's a good number. It was a bulky, broad, and tank like herbivore creature dinosaur, which used to live in the areas of today's Canada and the USA. It could travel great distances in herds. Its length has been estimated at about six meters and weight at three tons. Large spikes in its armor are thought to be a tool of dom domination amongst other members of the same species. Spikes could also be used for self defense. I will say that, um, This is pretty, like, um, like, this is pretty freaking, um, lifelike in terms of the graphics. Like, it literally looks like I'm walking through a museum and that these could legit be actual, like, they've done some great work on the textures here. Like, the rock, the rock looks like an actual rock. This palm tree looks like an actual palm tree. And those legit look like the actual seats that you would sit on, sit on in a museum. Okay. There is a big circle here, so I'm assuming that's where I want to go. We are slowly running out of space in the museum to think that it all started so innocently. When I was four years old, I loved to draw dinosaurs. Oh, am I drawing? Am I... Okay, so pick that up. Okay. Oh, we're playing dot to dot. I love this. Oh, I, 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 I can't draw for crap, but yeah, you, you get me. It's okay. I'm doing this as a four-year-old, so it, if it's not pretty, it's fine. This is some bad drawing skills here, I, I, I will just say. Oh, have you come to check out the dinosaurs too? Like some of my lines are freaking good and then you get the mess up that is... And then you get the act absolute shit show that is its tail. <laughs> I love the achievement. Daddy, I drew a dino. <laughs> can I, can I colour it in? <gasps> I can! I could press continue whatever I want, but I could I could do extra stuff to this this um dino. It was one of the most exciting days in my life. When I was eight, I found my first fossil. Even this freaking looks like I'm at the beach. I lost it half a year later. At the age of 14, nearly all I could think about was putting together and, point and painting dinosaur models. I was getting better at it. Okay. This one comes with a manual. It's dead simple. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Oh, I can I can rotate it. Um
Are you dribbling on me, Giza? This one's tougher. There's no manual, but I have the sketch at least. Okay. I'm guessing what it's doing is it's teaching us how we're going to be putting the dinosaurs together later. Oh, I don't have a. S Now's the time for the real fun. No manuals, no sketches, just sk sheer knowledge and skill. Ah, uh, okay. Um, head. You go there. I don't know what you are. You are something. Um. Teeny tiny arms. Teeny tiny arms go in the teeny tiny arm slots. Um, you look like part of a tail. Um, you're a foot. You're part of a leg. You're obviously the end of the tail. You are that part. Okay. You must be one of these parts. Could also be talking about myself as well. I do have teeny tiny arms. Okay. There we go. We built it all by ourselves with no with no manual or sketches. Maybe I could use more practice and build one of them again. I even won the local talent show once. They loved my triceratops. A couple of years later, the money I'd received as a reward in that competition turned out to be of an, inval be of an invaluable help. Adventure of a lifetime in your 20s? Well, I think it's possible. I was exactly 20 years old when I found an article about a pale pale paleontological group in a newspaper. Turned out they needed volunteers who were willing to work in the north of the country. It was a long shot, but I didn't want to miss it such a great opportunity. I took a risk and signed up for the job. As you could probably imagine, it paid off. Okay, uh, gameplay tips are shown in the upper right corner of the screen. Um, interactive objects, play, yep, yep, yep. Icons, compass, hide with glowing distance. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, we are doing a thing. Welcome to the mining area. A few weeks ago, miners came across something that appears to be dinosaur remains. We've managed to get the mine closed until the matter is dealt with. As neither the workers nor the board of directors is happy about the lockdown, we have to ask fast. The crew which was initially assigned to the case reports that the remains are most likely the bo bones of Orni... Ornihomim... Ornihomimus. Ornithomimus. Ornithomimus. Okay. <laughs> they had to leave, but according to their reports, there have been many undiscovered fossils in this area. Your job is relatively e easy. Head to the area marked on your map and leave no stone unturned. 
The area is marked on your radar as well, so you shouldn't have problems finding it. The off-road car park nearby is fueled and ready. No one said anything about driving. We, we hope your work will be fruitful. With your help, we should be able to finally complete the school task. The full skeleton for our new mission. The missing bones that we're looking for are a hip bone, a right arm bone, a vertebra. And for more information, check, okay, 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 okay. Okay, I guess we're driving this car. No one said anything about driving. Okay, where are we going? Follow the signpost and... Uh, uh, okay, uh, um... The car is going where? Remove flying tree trunks with a chainsaw. Okay. Okay. Hey, how do I get out of the car? How... How do I get out of the car? Um, that would be it. Okay. Now, chainsaw. Is there a chainsaw in here? Oh, no, okay. I've, um, I can close that. I've got the chainsaw on me. Okay. Meow. Chop it into little bits and get rid of it. Hey, I've just got to chop it until it disappears. Gotcha. I can't drive for crap. Watch me crash the first chance that I have. Okay. B to lock the differential and N to turn on fork. Okay. No, 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 no. Okay. Oh, yeah, I'm out of it. Okay. Um, I believe three. And we do the smashy smash. Smashy, 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 smash, 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 There we go. It's all smashed. It's all smashed. Or it's smashed as... Smashed or smashed enough. Um... Is there a map? Ah, uh, excavation area. Okay, gotta follow the sign. Okay. I can't drive for. Okay, I'm caught. No, no, no. no. <laughs> this is why I drive with a keyboard on GTA.
Okay, so we're setting up a tent. Use JPR to find the stones hidden underground. Place flags to mark this position. And dig in the soil and sand with a shovel. Um, and use pickaxe. And then... So, I believe it was six. Okay, we're scanning. I don't know what I'm looking for in the thing. Oh, there's a thing. Okay. things stuff and things stuff and things looking for stuff and things all oh, the stuff and things because i just worked out how to use this thing okay so we want four Lots of interesting rocks, okay. Now, I need my pickaxe. Okay, Geiger counter. So you use a trowel to remove mud from the stone. You do a visual inspection of the Okay, so seven. Okay, so we need to plaster the fossil. Okay. Okay. Oh, I think we need to... Okay, now we can pick it up. And... Okay. Are we plastered up enough? Okay, can I put you in the box now? So we, we have found plenty of plenty more interesting rocks. This, so Okay, so, um,
Uh, did I maybe not get this one up? I don't know. Okay. Maybe that's what. Okay, now let's try that. Perform a visual inspection. Okay, so not. Okay, so we've got one more flag, so that should be the other part of the dinosaur that we're missing. No bone in that rock. No bone in that rock. my way out I found the imposter I found it now I'm just gonna okay let's set it gently okay we want we need to plaster it Okay, we need to put this big hard rock inside the big giant box. Oh, it's a head. Okay, there's a head in the box. Container transport spot. Where is the container transport stop? Also, I'm thinking I should pick up this thingy. And pour some gas into the car. Driving forward? <laughs> How the hell do I get out? 
Okay, am I stuck in here too? Why am I stuck everywhere? No! Damn you, car. Okay, that's how I get out, I think. Yes, this appears to be how I get out. Yay! I'm not stuck anymore! <laughs> Pretty sure I'm lost. Oh god, there's a rock. Okay. We know what to do with the rocks. We get out our big tool and start smashing. Let's put the box in the boxy things. Okay, so, um, travel, yes. It didn't take me long to get to the museum, but even though the trip was quick, I couldn't stop thinking about the job. I was constantly preoccupied with collecting and preparing dinosaur bones. When I arrived at the museum's lot, it was a time to start cleaning what I had found. It was a fascinating experience. It required a lot of time and attention, but the result was always worth the effort. <gasps> Do I get to stab the rocks now? Move the box with fossil to the cleaning station. Remove pasta. Yes. Yes. Make a decision who should clean this set of bones. You or the museum employee. Okay. Oh, there's the, there's the orny bone, orny, orny, orny thingy, orny bone, orny dinosaur. This is the orny dinosaur. Okay, move the box with the fossils to here. Okay. New. Smack, 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 I could let the museum employee do this, but this is cooler. So I, I just want to do this. <clears throat> okay. Ready for the ASMR cleaning of dinosaur bones? I love this. spraying them with oh 
Oh, it's a softening matrix. Okay. Where are we softening the dinosaur bones? Ah, that's why, because I need to get all the... Okay. I'm not going to lie, I, I am also nerding out over this. Like, I could have sent this to the, um, to, like, the museum person to clean up, but this is so much more satisfying. This is so much more satisfying. And then, I'm guessing we get to put the dinosaur back together with puzzle, like, a puzzle piece? Because that'll be fun. Okay. Okay, once you're done with cleaning, assemble individual brains into larger skeletal fragments. And then we need to put them in the whole dinosaur skeleton. Okay, okay. Um, so that. You go there, obviously. You go here. And it's teeny tiny little butt bone. Okay, grab. And put on. There we go. Next box. Okay, um, manual clean, manual clean, yes, because this is fun. Type that like more dinosaur fossil ASMR. I could give this to the museum curator to do it, but this is so much funner. Okay, this one has a bunch of teeny tiny needle bones. This is an arm bone. This is the arm. But 
but we're just living for that dinosaur fossil I am. I, I am definitely living for this game. This yeah, it's it's very chill. It's right up my alley. Yeah, but these bone pieces are definitely smaller. So this is gonna. Take less time to do this bit. But who wouldn't want to do them manually because it's so satisfying. It, it really is just so satisfying. that would be really freaking cool on VR. So many teeny tiny bones. Look at her! Look at our Orny dinosaur! Orny, I, I, I can't pronounce it! Okay, time for some head. Chopping all the plaster off. Okay, we have to clean it now. Let's separate the head pieces. Yeah. 
This is so ASMR worthy. I'm living for it. It's so good. I love it. It's the whole reason I'm doing it. It would be quicker to send it for the to the other cleaner, but Okay. Puzzle time. And there we go. We have a head. We have a head. The museum I was doing my internship in was getting ready for renovation. I was afraid my classes were about to be cut because of that. <clears throat> I couldn't have been more wrong about this one. Turns out the exhibition hall was being revamped and I was asked to participate in the redecoration. But that's not all of it. We were also given the second complete skeleton of Orni So Mimus. Like, I, I'm just going to say the Orni dinosaur. It, with the skeleton of the Orni dinosaur. Two dinosaurs for, for one display. Well, let's just say all the pictures of dinosaur life I'd studied as a kid came back to life in my head. I decided to just give in to my imagination. Ooh, find Pallet Jack and pick up the box. What am I picking up? <gasps> okay. <gasps> I did it. Okay, where am I taking this? Okay, use the touch screen, start the interior and exhibition. <gasps> I get to design the things too. Okay, interior. <gasps> we can put plants and things. Let's put all the plants and things. <gasps> There's paintings. I love that there's so many aspects to this. It's not all just um, digging for bones and doing that thing. It's like... Setting up the exhibits too and, and making them pretty. And the best part... We're still going to have the... Um, is I'm pretty sure we're going to... Like this is just the interior. I'm pretty sure we get to do the um, the actual exhibit as well. Okay, that looks very, very pretty. I am happy with that. This is pretty. What do we think? Pretty? Exhibition design, okay. Um, We get to choose what rocks go in it. it. 
It, 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 this is, this is so cool. Okay. This is a dinosaur. Now we get to chuck more plants in. Hey, there's a bunch of space there. But I also just see it as more space to enjoy the dinosaurs. That's even better. Okay. This is so awesome that I get to do stuff like this. Okay. The dinosaur description. There we go. What do we think? How awesome is our exhibition? <laughs> it's so good. We have all of our pictures. God help me if they want, want me to get that out of the room though. <laughs> Because <laughs> that lives there now. <laughs> that lives there. <laughs> that was the last day of my internship. A great adventure just came to an end. The night I was packing to go back home, the telephone in my room rang. I couldn't believe it. The director called me to ask me to stay and help the museum build a bigger skeleton. There was a vacant position because one of the workers got sick. I felt bad for the guy, but I was so glad that there was a chance to work in the museum for longer. The decision was a no-brainer. I went to the museum the next day. Although the place wasn't new to me, this particular moment felt different. It was the first time I was asked to enter the museum's workshop. With my heart pounding and my hands sweating, I walked towards the door. So pretty. So pretty, so good. <laughs> okay, time to go to the workshop. Through the door. T-Rex! I've got to admit, the biggest skeleton the director was talking about was indeed a huge one. I was dumbstruck when I faced the legendary Tyrannosaurus. Even in my dreams, I would never fathom that our museum was in possession of such a treasure. Why, yes, 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 I would like to rebuild, I, I would like to do this thing. I would like to put him together. I would very much like to put him together. Ten out of ten game of the year. <laughs> okay. Um There's your, he, here's your head, Mr. Tyrannosaurus Rex. And you're the butt bone. Okay. Do I get to design his house too? 
please tell me I get to design his house too. Because that would make me so happy. Thank you. He's built. Okay. <clears throat> A completed skeleton of Tyrannosaurus, le Tyrannosaurus looked majestic, and I had an honour to contribute to it. Yet another beautiful moment that has been etched on my memory forever. I graduated from college at the age of 24. I was pretty amped up. My marks were great, so I didn't anticipate any problems in finding a job. But that was about to change soon. For the first six months after graduation, my focus was to find a job, or at least something that relates to it. I submitted my resume for every paleontologist job I could find, but the jobs were either already taken or I lacked the experience. After six months, I started looking for any job, but that also didn't come easily. I was trying hard, but to no avail. One year after graduation, things finally started to turn around, although it wasn't exactly how I imagined it. My grandfather left his car workshop to me in his will. I wasn't particularly talented when it came to automotive world, but I knew a thing or two. And at that time, a thought of becoming a car mechanic was at least something. He had a lot of weird and crazy ideas. There was one time Grandpa brought an old Russian truck, which, clear, which was clearly beyond fixing, but that didn't scare him. He always used to tell us that he'd finally finished repairing it. Unfortunately, his body didn't catch up with his spirit and he had to pass on his little project. I decided to clean up the workshop for him. This isn't dinosaurs. Okay, that is the trash bin. Let's just throw everything in the trash bin. <laughs> we throw it and it goes in. Everything in the bin. How far can we yeet this? No, I'm trying to yeet you, little gas can. I'm trying to yeet you. Let me yeet you. But I'm not sure what cleaning a garage has to do with dinosaurs. I want to go back to the dinosaurs. <laughs> I found the lost puzzle, puzzle piece that I'd lost during the school trip. Despite it being over four, 15 years ago, I felt exactly the same mix of excitement and joy that I had felt on that beach years ago. The need for fossil hunting struck me twice as hard. Suddenly all the problems that kept me from my dreams had vanished. In a split second, I came up with a plan and the only thing left to do was getting down to it. Things on street, so many dumb things on street, dumb things on street. 